What's up guys, this is going to be a real quick tutorial, uh, 46 Java tutorial. We're going to talk a little bit more about polymorphism because uh, even though the last tutorial described you know, pretty much what polymorphism is, there's another way that we can use polymorphism or the way that works pretty much. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new method called test. And all we're going to do is we're going to pass in our Toyota called T. As you can see up here we set up our Toyota object called T. It's just set to basic Toyota object. Um, so first it's giving us an error because it's like hey you don't have a method called test so we're gonna create a new method and there we go. Bam! New method called test and as you can see it takes a Toyota within its parameter. All we're gonna do is just say quick system out print um, print line actually and we're just gonna say test. So that's what's going to print out, and obviously this is going to work, right? But the cool thing about polymorphism is we can change the parameter of this method to take cars only, so like a car C, and we're calling this test method, and we're passing in a Toyota, which is not a car, right? It's a, it's a Toyota object that we set up here. But again, since our Toyota class extends the car class, it can use polymorphism to act like it's a car, so we can use these methods that take a car um, a car object within its parameter. It's gonna be like BAM! Abracadabra, I'm a car object now, not a Toyota, um, so I can use this method called test. So that's just another way that you can use polymorphism or what polymorphism is. It basically can morph itself into a different object so it can use these methods that take in you know, a car parameter instead of a Toyota parameter. So let's just check this out, make sure it works. We're gonna, you know, run it and it says I'm a Toyota uh, test. So again, the I am the Toyota is coming from the constructor of the Toyota class, but this test is coming from this test method, which again takes a car object as a parameter. So um, that's again just a quick uh, demonstration of polymorphism. It's, it's just a uh, big word, but you know, no worries, it's just kind of saying that it can mold itself into different shapes so we can use different methods and stuff on it. So thanks again for watching guys. I know it was a quick tutorial, but uh, have a good one and catch you later.